Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about weight-based dosage calculations. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So for some medications, the amount of drug to be given to a patient depends on the patient's weight. Most medications for children are dosed based on weight due to the extreme differences in patient size. And this makes sense. Typically, a small, the smaller the patient size, the smaller the dose will be needed. The greater the patient size, the greater the dose will be needed. There are also some adult medications that are dosed based on weight due to characteristics of the particular drug being given. Some characteristics of drugs that require weight-based dosages for adult medications include drug distribution. This is how a drug is transferred to the tissues of the body. For example, if a drug is fat soluble, um, the greater the patient weight, the higher the dose is typically needed for fat soluble drugs to reach appropriate concentrations in the body. And another characteristic is the therapeutic index. This is the ratio between the toxic dose and the effective dose. With a narrow therapeutic index drug or an NTI drug, a small change in dose equals a large change in effect. Now we'll talk about um, how to solve weight-based dosage calculations. So first, weight-based dosages are typically specified in milligrams per kilogram or milligrams per kilogram per day. So to solve weight-based dosage calculations, first you want to determine the patient's weight in kilograms. And our conversion equivalent for this is one pound equals 2.2 kilograms. So basically what we're gonna do on this, we'll divide the pound weight by 2.2. That will give us the weight in kilograms. Next, we'll determine the patient's dose. Um, this is done by multiplying their kilogram weight by the milligram per kilogram dose. And then we'll determine the amount per dose, if it's in milligrams per kilogram per day. And to do this, we'll divide the total daily dose by the number of doses per day. And now we'll look at each of these steps in more detail. So first we'll look at how to convert a patient's weight from pounds to kilograms. So many weight-based dosages are specified in milligrams per kilogram or milligrams per kilogram per day of the medication. So when a patient's weight is given in pounds, it must be converted to kilograms. And our weight conversion equivalent is one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So in order to convert a patient's weight from pounds to kilograms, and we can divide it by 2.2. You can memorize it just that and do it that way. Or um, if you just want to memorize the conversion equivalent, you can also set up, a, a set up um, fractions that cancel like units and multiply to get your answer. So I have an example of that here. If we have a 150 pound patient, um, there's one kilogram per 2.2 pounds times 150 pounds over one. So you have a pound on the top, pounds on the bottom, those cancel, you're left with kilograms. Then you just do the math. One times 150 is 150, then divided by 2.2 times one. That it gives us 68.2. Or as I said, if you just take 150 divided by 2.2, 68.2 kilograms. So once the weight has been converted to kilograms, the amount of drug to be given can be obtained. As I said, weight-based dosages are usually specified in milligrams per kilogram or milligrams per kilogram per day. So to obtain the dose, you can simply just multiply the weight in kilograms by the milligram per kilogram dose. So if you have a 68.2 kilogram patient and a dose of five milligrams per kilogram, we can just multiply 68.2 times five, and that will give us our milligram dose. Or if you wanna set up the fractions that cancel like units, you can do it that way too, just so you can see how the units cancel and to it's a good double check on yourself. So 68.2 kilograms over one times five milligrams per kilogram. You have a kilogram on the top, kilogram on the bottom, those cancel, you're left with milligrams. So then you just do the math, 68.2 times five divided by one, that would it equals 341 milligrams. So if the dosage is specified in milligrams per kilogram per day and the directions are not QD, that's once a day, then the amount per dose may also need to be calculated. So to calculate the amount per dose, divide the total daily dose by the number of doses per day. So we'll continue with our example. We have a five milligram per kilogram per day 
and that equaled uh, 341 milligrams per day and we'll say that's given Q6 hours. Q6H is Q6 hours. So Q6H, um, we have 24 hours in a day divided by six hours. That would be four doses per day. So if we take 341 and divide it by four, that equals 85.25 milligrams. So the patient would receive 85 milligrams Q6H. So 85 milligrams would be the amount per dose. So sometimes the dosage is specified in milligrams per kilogram and the frequency is stated with the dose, so the amount per dose is already determined. So for example, we have our 68.2 kilogram patient to be given uh, five milligrams per kilogram Q6 hours. Um, if you just do the math, the five milligrams per one kilogram times 68.2 kilograms over one, uh, we cancel a kilogram on the top, a kilogram on the bottom, we're left with milligrams. Five times 68.2 is 341, and that's 341 milligrams Q6H because our, our um, amount is already determined, our dose is already determined. The five milligrams per kilogram is every six hours. So now we're going to look at some examples. So example one, a 176 pound patient is to be given Lovenox 1.5 milligram per kilogram SQQD. What is the patient's total daily dose? So the medication we're working with here is Lovenox. Its generic name is Anoxaparin, and it's a low molecular weight heparin blood thinner to um, treat or prevent blood clots. So we're giving it 1.5 milligrams per kilogram SQQD. SQ stands for subcutaneously, that means under the skin, and QD is once every day. So we're wanting the patient's total daily dose. So since it's once a day, um, we just figure out our milligram per kilogram dose, and that will be the amount given for the day. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So there's one kilogram per 2.2 pounds times 176 pounds over one. Our pounds cancel, one's on the top, one's on the bottom, so they cancel. We're left with kilograms. So 176 divided by 2.2 equals 80 kilograms. And then we're given the dose of 1.5 milligram per kilogram times 80 kilograms over one. Kilogram on the top, kilogram on the bottom, those cancel, we're left with milligrams. That gives us a total of 120 milligrams. So that is our total daily dose since it's administered once a day. Now example number two, a 148 pound patient is to receive vancomycin 10 milligram per kilogram IV Q12H. What is the amount to be given for each dose? So our medication here is vancomycin. It's a glycopeptide antibiotic that's used to treat a variety of serious infections. Um, it's given IV and it's one that is dose based according to weight and also other factors such as a patient's renal function. So it, we're given vancomycin 10 milligram per kilogram IV Q12H, so that's every 12 hours, and we're wanting to know what the total amount is to be given for each dose. So we have um, one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds, so we have to figure out the, how the much the patient weighs in kilograms first. So one kilogram per 2.2 pounds times 148 pounds over one, so one times 148 is 148 divided by 2.2 is 67 kilograms. So that's the patient's weight in kilograms. And then our dose is 10 milligrams per kilogram um, times 67 kilograms. Uh, we're left with milligrams, a kilogram on the top, kilogram on the bottom, those cancel. So 10 times 67 is 670 milligrams for each dose. So since it says it's 10 milligram per kilogram every 12 hours, that is the amount for each dose. It's already, we don't have to determine um, how many doses in the day. So in example number three, a child is prescribed cephalexin 75 milligrams per kilogram per day given QID. The child weighs 30 pounds. What amount of cephalexin will be given per dose? So cephalexin, this is an antibiotic that's a uh, cephalosporin. And so we have 75 milligram per kilogram per day QID. QID is four times a day. So first we have to convert the child's weight into kilograms. So one kilogram per 2.2 pounds times 30 pounds. 
30 divided by 2.2 is 13.6 kilograms. So now we have a dose of 75 milligrams per kilogram, and that's going to be per day. So 75 milligram per kilogram times 13.6 kilograms. Um, we're left with milligrams on the top, kilogram on the top, a kilogram on the bottom. Those cancel. 75 times 13.6 is 1,020 milligrams. So that is the total dose per day. So this is given QID, so four times a day. So we're going to divide that by four to get the amount per dose. So 1,020 divided by four equals 255 milligrams per dose. Okay, now we'll look at our last example, example number four, and it has three parts. So a child is to receive amoxicillin at a dose of 50 milligram per kilogram per day. What is the total daily dose if the patient weighs 21 pounds? Then the dose of amoxicillin is to be given Q12H. How many milligrams should be given per dose? And then part C, if amoxicillin 400 milligram per 5 ml is dispensed, how many milliliters should be given per dose? So we'll look at part A first. So a child is to receive amoxicillin at a dose of 50 milligram per kilogram per day. What is the total daily dose if the patient weighs 21 pounds? So amoxicillin, that's an antibiotic in the penicillin class. Um, we're dealing with it at a dose of 50 milligram per kilogram per day. So we're looking for the total daily dose if the patient weighs 21 pounds. So one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So 21 pounds divided by 2.2, that equals 9.5 kilograms. Then we have um, a dose of 50 milligram per kilogram. So 50 times 9.5 equals 477 milligrams. So that is our total daily dose, 477 milligrams. And part B, the dose of amoxicillin is to be given Q12H. How many milligrams should be given per dose? So Q12H means every 12 hours. So 24 hours divided by 12 hours. So that would be two doses. So the total daily dose was 477 milligrams. If we divide 477 by two, that equals 239 milligrams per dose. So now we'll look at part C. If amoxicillin 400 milligram per five milliliters is dispensed, how many milliliters should be given per dose? So this one, uh, we know we need 239 milligrams per dose. So the way we'll do this is we're going to set up equivalent fractions, cross multiply, and then divide. So if there are 400 milligrams per 5 milliliters, we'll set that equal to 239 milligrams per x milliliters. So we're solving for x. So if we take 5 times 239, that equals 1,195. Then divide to solve for x, divided by 400 equals 2.99. We'll round that to three, so it'll be three milliliters would give us 239 milligrams, and that would be the amount um, that the patient should take per dose. Okay, so now we'll just look at a summary and some key points to remember. So weight-based dosages are typically specified in milligram per kilogram or milligram per kilogram per day. And to solve weight-based dosage calculations, first determine the patient's weight in kilograms. Remember, one pound equals 2.2 kilograms. And a shortcut to do this, you can just divide the pound weight by 2.2. Or if you want to uh, set up the fractions that cancel like units, you can do that as well, just so you can see exactly what's going on. Next, you determine the patient's dose. So we'll, we can do this by multiplying the kilogram weight by the milligram per kilogram dose. And then determine the amount per dose if the milligram per kilogram, if it's in a milligram per kilogram per day. And to do this, we'll divide the total daily dose by the number of doses per day. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. And please subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you would like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.